Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this Halloween project with brick stitch and delica beads with black cats and bats. And I'm providing a pattern so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. And a quick idea, if you instead of black use red, it will look like a Saint Valentine's cat that is in love. So tell me in the comments which one you prefer, the Halloween one or the Saint Valentine's variation of this work, or probably you're making both of them. Tell me in the comments. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 old Delica beads. I'm also using earring findings in black color. This is fire line that is 0.17 millimeters or you could use 0.15 which is 0.006 inches or similar thickness of uh, fire line. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle and you could use also size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. Here I have this pattern that we will work with during the tutorial and I will also post it on my Facebook page so you will be able to download it if you go there and I'm also using scissors. And now I'm going to take about 7 feet of thread on my needle which is 2 meters and 10 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and as I said in this work I'm going to use this pattern and if I use it turned in this direction I should use peyote stitch. If I use it in this direction I should use brick stitch. Okay and now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing this one with brick stitch that is why I will turn it in this direction. Okay and the first row as you may see consists of 11 black beads. And in order to add these 11 beads, I will start first with two black beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail because later I will put my needle on it and finish my work by making some knots. Okay, so now I'm taking two beads. And as I'm exiting through one of them, I'm going backwards through the other one. Okay, now when I pull I have these two beads next to each other side to sides and the holes are pointing in this direction. This is what I want to have. And then I go through this black bead. Okay, then I'm going to take another black bead. And I'm going backwards through this black one here the same way. Okay, I have here a loop between my beads and the holes are pointing in this direction and they are touching side to side. And after I add this bead, I go backwards through it one more time. Now I have this. Only the first row is like this, guys. Then it will get easier and easier. Okay, now I take one black again and I go backwards through this bead that I have and I attach this next bead. Then I go through it and I pull and I tighten up my work to make them stay next to each other and side to side. Okay, I'll show you one more time. This is the fifth bead that I'm adding. And I wanna add guys 11 beads in total. Here I have five. I will add six more of camera and I'll be back to show you the whole row. And I have 11 beads added here, guys. 
but I don't like how they sit. That is why I will make an additional reinforcement of those beads. How I do this, I just will go back through all of those beads one more time, making them stay nice and tight next to each other and not moving around. Okay. You see now how they straighten up. Okay, I'll do this off camera until this bit and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I reinforce those beads, I'm up to here and they stay nice and straight as you may see. Now what I want to do is consult with my pattern. And I said I'm going to be using it like this. Okay, here I have 11 black beads. And in the next row I have one black, 10 white and one black. Okay, I'll put this aside. And now guys, I will start the familiar brick stitch. If you don't know it, don't worry because I will show it really slowly and easy and you will be able to do this. Okay, I start with two beads, a black and a white. I always start the brick stitch rows with two beads. Okay, and in this case, Okay, first see these thread bridges that I have here between my beads. In this case, I make increasing brick stitch because in the next row I have more beads than I have in this row. And when I make increasing brick stitch, I take two beads and I go under the first thread bridge that I have here. Okay, this is the first one. And then I pull after that I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work I take another white bead as I said I need 10 white beads after the black and this is the second one of those 10 and I'm going under the next thread bridge that I have here on my way. Then I take another white the same way. I go under the following thread bridge. I pull and I go back through this white bead. Okay guys, and absolutely the same way, I will add white beads until I have 10 white beads in total. I will add them at each thread bridge and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last white bead from this row. And now I'm out of thread bridges, but I want to add one more black bead. And how I add it, I just use the same thread bridge that I already have been through with the white one. I'm going back through it and then back through the black one. Okay. Now I have my second row ready. And now my friends... I want to consult with my pattern and you see I'm up to here where my third row is and I will start with a black and a white and after that I will add this sequence. Okay, let me show you how I'm adding the first two bleeds, black and white and we'll be back to the pattern again. Okay, I take a black and a white and because I'm increasing my work increases in this direction. I'm taking these two beads and I go under the first thread bridge. Then I go through the one which is closer to the center of my work. Now I will consult with my pattern again. Okay, I have this black and white. Now I need a black, two white beads, three black beads, four white beads and one black. Okay, pause and add the beads from the third row until the end, from here on until the end and I'll be back. 
let me show you just the first few steps. I need here first a black one. I add it under the next thread bridge and pull. Then according to my pattern I need two whites and three blacks. Okay, and now I will consult with my pattern again. Okay, two whites, and I will continue off camera. Three blacks, four whites, and one black. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I just added four whites and one black. And if you remember, <coughs> the last one I add at the same thread bridge that I added this white at because I'm out of thread bridges and I need to add this one and this one at the last thread bridge. And now without even looking at my pattern I know that I need a black and a white because each step starts with black and white and now until the center of my work I'm increasing so I'm always going through the first thread bridge. Okay then through the bead which is closer to the center which in this case is the white one then I need my pattern again and I'm at the fourth row guys this is one two three this is the fourth row so here I already added a black and a white this black and white and I need three more whites a black then two whites, a black, then a white, a black, two whites and a black. Okay, this is the fourth row. Add it, continue adding it and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I just added the fourth row. If you haven't done this, pause and do this following this pattern here. Okay, let me see what comes next after the fourth row. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth row. And for the fifth row, I need to start with a black and a white, like always. Then I need a white, a black, two whites, two blacks, a white, a black, four whites and a black. Okay, pause on this uh, pattern for the fifth row do this and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm at the end of the fifth row where I need to add a black bead and I need to add it the same way as before at the last thread bridge and I go back through it. Now, without even looking at my pattern, I know that I need a black and a white and because I'm increasing until the center of my work, I'm going under the first thread bridge and then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. Okay guys, and now you see I'm at the sixth row. I have here the kitten tail ready almost ready and the first bat is ready uh, and now I am I am at the sixth row one two three four five six count them not to make a mistake okay and I added this black and this white and after that I need a white three blacks one two three four five six seven eight nine whites and one black Okay, I'll do this and I will continue the same way until I reach the center because everything is the same and you just have to follow the pattern. I can't show you each and every step because this will be such a long tutorial and you must learn following patterns. That is why I will reach here the center and I'll be back to show you how we decrease our work 
and make a decreasing brick stitch. Okay, I'll reach up to here and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. Now I am at the widest row in the center with the most beads. And just to remind you the easy steps that I did up to here, in the beginning of each row I take a black and a white, I go under the first thread bridge, then one by one I follow the pattern row by row, and at the last thread bridge I add white, and after that at the same thread bridge I add black. Okay, that's it, it's really simple. And now let me consult with my pattern. Okay, I'm here in the central row and half of my work is ready and now I'm ready to start with this row which as you may see is decreasing because I have less beads in this row than in the previous rows. So now I'm gonna be showing you decreasing brick stitch which is really easy and similar to the increasing brick stitch and you will use it until the end of this pattern. Like before I need a black and a white bead. Okay, I need a black and a white and because here I will be decreasing, I won't go through the first thread bridge like when I was increasing, but I will go under the second thread bridge here. You see this is the first one between the black and the white and I'm going under the second one which is between the next two white beads. Okay, and I do the same thing of pulling and going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. But now guys, with the decreasing brick stitch I have an additional steps because you see my beads stretch because they go under the second thread bridge and they don't sit flat and nice. That is why I want to go one more time through them to make them stay nice and tight with this additional thread pad. Okay, you see? Now I have this and this is the only difference guys. Just go through the second thread bridge and train force and everything else is the same. Okay, so I'm here. I just added this one and this one. You see how it goes to the inner side. And then I need again a white and 14 black beads and two whites and a black. Okay, I will show you how I'm adding the next white. And now at each thread bridge, guys, at 14 black beads, after that, two whites and a black. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And what I added here, guys, are 14 black beads and two whites. And now I need to add my last black one at the last thread bridge. And in this case, guys, at the last thread bridge, I don't add two beads, but only one. Because I decrease... And I don't need one more bead here. I'll show you one more time how I start the decreasing brick stitch. Okay, I take a black and a white and I go under the second thread bridge. So I skip this first one which is between the black and the white and I go through this one which is between the two white beads that I have after that. Okay. Because I decrease and I go again through the one which is closer to the center and then I go through the black one one more time and through the white one one more time because you see how they sit they stretch because they go through the second thread bridge and they need additional thread pad to straighten up and in my next step guys let me consult with my pattern. Here I have this black and this white and after that I need one, two, three, four, five black beads. 
one white and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black beads. And then I need two whites and a black. Okay, follow these steps and meet me here. Okay, my friends, and I just finished this row and at the last thread bridge I added just one bead. Okay, now I'm here. I did this row after the largest row, this one, and after that this one. And now I am at this one. But my thread is here, so I start to bead from here. Okay, a black and a white, and after that one more white, seven black beads, then two whites, then three black beads, and then two whites and one black. Okay, I'll show you the first step again, which is black and white, and this is the third time I'm showing you decreasing brick stitch. Again, go under the second thread bridge. Here it is between these two white beads. and then through the one that is closer to the center and after that reinforce to make them stay nice and tight after that according to my pattern i need a white bead okay then I will take my pattern again to consult with it. Okay, and what I need here are seven blacks, two whites, three blacks, two whites, and one black. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll make several more rows and I'll be back to show you my progress. Okay, guys, and here two rows after that I finished my cat. And now it's time to make these bats here and the last row. Okay, I will make a few more rows and I'll be back to show you again my progress. By the way, if you haven't done this up to here, you could pause on this pattern and do this and catch up. Okay, guys, and I'm here again to show you my progress. I just did these two bats here or if you're making a Halloween project as I said in the beginning and the cat is red and everything is red they look like little hearts okay so it's up to you what you're gonna be making Halloween or Saint Valentine's project okay and now what we have left after the bats is this row with a black 10 whites and a black and after that a row with 11 black beads okay i'll do them off camera and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and now i'm ready with my work but i need to attach my earring finding and in order to do this i will zigzag through my beads And I want to exit here, then go through all of those beads and exit at this point. Okay, I won't make you watch me repositioning my thread up to here because it will be boring, but I'll meet you at this point. Okay, and I'm exiting here, guys, at this point. Now I'm taking one black bead, my earring finding and one black bead. And I'm going backwards through this bead here at the and then I will reinforce it. Okay, now. I want to make a knot and cut this thread but before that I don't like here I have a small gap and I don't like it that is why I'm going through all of those beads guys and I want to make this gap smaller between those two beads at the edge okay 
If you see something you don't like, go ahead and fix it. Okay. Then I'm going through some beads and I could only zigzag through the beads and cut my thread but, or I could make a small knot by making a loop. And going through the loop you've made and pulling. And then go through some beads in this direction. You could go in the back of your earring. And then cut your thread as close as possible to your work. Now guys, I'm going to put the needle from this side, zigzag through my beads, maybe make a small knot and after that go through some beads and cut this thread and in this way your earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my Black Cat's Halloween earrings with Delica beads and Brick Stitch are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell, also like, share and comment and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below in description. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check also in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.